Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some of the core spine science curriculum that we use in our homeschool for this coming year for 2019 and 2020. I did a second grade curriculum choices for you guys with some of my kindergartners choices and a lot of you guys wanted to see the inside of the books. If I did that at my first video, it would have taken me probably like a whole hour video. So I am going to do this like subject by subject for you guys and this video is science. I've already done my second grade um, daughter's language arts and math so if you're interested in seeing those books in the inside I will link all those videos down below for you guys. If you are new to my channel welcome. I do a lot of flip through videos for you guys to look inside of the books that I love. I'm a book junkie. I love books. I love going thrifting and I enjoy sharing with you guys our unit studies and how I put them together, our morning baskets, our homeschool updates and all of that fun stuff. I also like to share our homeschool planners and how we use them and how I record and how we set up our homeschool year. So in July, I will be doing a collaboration with my friend Tanya from Project Happy Home. So if you guys are planning nerds like her and I, then stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and you guys will be able to see a lot of fun videos coming your way in July. All right, let's get started. This is Nature Anatomy by Julia Rothman. She also is the author and illustrator of Farm Anatomy. And I think she has a couple more books as well. This one I really wanted to have in our homeschool library because this inspires me to draw on my chalkboard for our unit studies and I do our chalkboard maybe three times four times out of the year and it pretty much stays the same until we change our unit studies but this is just really fun stuff it's just really beautiful pictures I love watercolor and she sketches these like plants and flowers so beautifully and there's so many ideas so if you are learning about something specifically or if you're just doing a nature study with your kiddos this is such a good book and it's good for them to look at so they can sketch and use her drawings as just a foundation. And I actually think I have a drawing of the volcano here that I did on our chalkboard when we're studying Earth. And then I also use another picture, which is the layers of the Earth. And I will try to put a little picture somewhere here so you can see my inspiration from this book. She um, does this really beautiful book and I just love it. It's called The Curious Parts and Pieces of the Natural World. Now it is a small book. My hand, it, it's about a little bit bigger than my hand, so it's not a big, big book. It's small. It's smaller than what I thought. You can get a whole set on Amazon. I'll try to link it down below, or you can just get these individually. So they're not too expensive, but they're well worth the money because it's just a great book to have in your library, and I'll probably use this um, for years. So along with this nature book, um, I got the Thinking Tree Nature Study and Outdoor Science Journal. It's by Sarah Brown and it's like a book where you can draw and color and write and discover things through nature. So um, it tells you how to use this book over here and things to think about when you go outside. This section is really neat. They could write in the books that they have about animals and nature, their learning list of more books and when they completed the book I guess on the side. Bring some nature into your home, make a nature study basket. So they have lots of cool little ideas. And um, my daughter loves making lists, so this says list the animals that live in your area, find small things in your yard and make a nature collection. And they have a lot of coloring pages as well and things to do and lots of little prompts for them to write in. So I just like it. It's really fun. They have lots of just great pages to make copies of. I can make for my son and my daughter. Whatever we see outside, we could make little sketches of the things. Um, this says draw small things you see outside, collect small things from nature, and make a nature craft. So there's lots of ideas, lots of like um, prompts for them to write things about the, what they're seeing outside. This one they do color and then trace and then draw the missing part and then the kid will draw the animal after they practice that. So there's lots of fun little pages in here that I thought would be fun to use with my kiddos. Um, I do have a kindergartner and a second grader so I can make copies so they can both do it. I wanted to incorporate some sort of nature journal because my daughter is getting older and I thought it would be something fun since she's really into drawing right now. So this is a new book um, that I got for science. I found this I think on thriftbooks.com or Amazon and I really was impressed by it. I wanted to look inside of it and give you guys a flip through because I love this indescribable book so much. Um, I thought I wanted to find something a little bit similar to it 
and I did really find something that I think you guys would enjoy. This is by Julie Vett, and she is a homeschool mom. She homeschooled her kids through high school, and she had studied about worldviews, and she's been doing creation um, science um, classes for homeschoolers and high schoolers um, since 2003, and she teaches at community events and churches as well. So when she did this, I'm sure she had in mind parents teaching their kids about you know history and science through um, their devotionals and I really enjoy this it goes through the whole entire year so you could read one page per day or if you're like me you like to skip around and you want to do a unit study there's like tons of things that you can look at if you are just gonna be talking about biology she has lots of things about biology paleontology um, Christian truth history so there are lots of really good informational pages in here um, that are really, really great. I've read several of them and she does a really good job explaining things. And I think that um, it might be a little advanced for my youngest one, but I will be able to word it in a way that he might be able to understand it. Um, you'd be surprised some of the little kids really understand more than what we think, right? Um, she has references in here, but then she also has an index in the back. If you're looking for something specific like chlorophyll or dinosaur skin or dinosaur sounds, you can look it up and it'll tell you the date to go to. And I think that that's really great. I like how she sets that up. So I just think that this would be a really good book for anybody's homeschool library. And I'm really excited to dig into this because I really enjoyed this book so much. So hopefully you guys will be able to get this for your library. I think it's reasonable price. I think it's $10 or less on Amazon. And I think it's... Um, definitely worth it. So I will link these down below. And like I said, I have a flip through video on this one already. So you can check that out. This book is one of my favorite books that we've gotten. I really enjoy DK Smithsonian. Um, this is the Animal Visual Encyclopedia. And it is so beautiful because there are photographs. So it's just amazing. And I get so much information from these there's lots of like writings on the bottom of each page, so they describe the pictures in the book. And it's organized in such a really good fashion. So you have this like colorful tab here that you can go to any like um, anything that you want, like insects or uh, mammals, whatever you're looking up for that day, or if you're doing a unit study. I just kind of like tab it right here because we were talking about shrimp when we were reading about Mr. Popper's penguins. So whenever you're reading a book, it's just fun to study the animals and go into a, a book like this and just check out the pictures and get really into, you know, whatever you're studying. The kids love this book. And this is a good book just to have on the coffee table and to have them flip through it. And like I said, there's like words here at the bottom um, talking about the animals and the insects and plants that they're talking about in this book. So this is just a little flip through for you guys to kind of see what's inside of this book. It's just super cool. I love it. It's so awesome. Another really fun book that my son and I really like to read together is See Inside Your Body. This is by Usborn, and I think I got this on Amazon used. So I will try to link that for you down below. Um, but it has the contents here. They're gonna be going over the body, pumping blood, brain power, senses. And it's a very visual book because you are literally lifting up flaps and reading about certain things that are going on with your body. This one's a really fun one because it's you flip it around, you can travel through their body. And this is always a fun one. You get to see the poop and everything like that. Some kids will be grossed out. Some kids would probably love it. So this one's about their lungs. And there's all these little flaps that you can open up. Um, the pumping blood. Bones and muscles. Brain power. And the senses. So it's very interesting drinking and peeing, which is a very, very important part in your body. And so we like to look through these and hopefully we'll be doing a unit study on human body one day. And this will be something that we will use along with library books. But this is always good to have when your kids are asking about certain things in their body. I like to refer back to this. And this is just a fun one to have on your bookshelf too, because the kids and I look through it a lot. And last but not least, this is the Giant Science Resource book that I did a huge flip through on a few weeks ago, and a lot of you guys really loved it. Um, it's for grades one through six, and this is definitely a book to have 
like at all times because you could reproduce these um, for all of your kids and you can use it throughout the year. So I'm going to do a flip through like this so you can see exactly what it's all about. But they talk about animals, they talk about um, electricity and matter and sound at the end of the book. Um, all of the little th topics are right there. Geology, water, weather. I'm just flipping through it a little quicker because I do have a video that goes through everything landforms, recycling. So these are just really fun little pages that you could um, make principles for. And you can do a skeleton for the human body. So I would probably pair this up with um, this book and a couple other library books and just do a unit study on on the human body. Because Lots of little information, informational pages like this one, for instance, is so cute. Um, it's a bird writing form, so you color the bird, you cut it, and you paste it on top of a writing paper, and you write about the bird. So there's lots of cool little activities in here, and I just think that this is just a fun little book. So if you're ever looking for a science experiment or something to do with science and you don't have lots of ideas, this is the book for you to get because you have, like, literally over, like, you have about 300 pages and you can just take it right from here. You don't have to go on your computer to find some printables. So that's what I love about Evan Moore. They have everything for you um, right here in their workbook. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of the flip throughs of everything that we are using for this year's science. I really can't wait to dig into all of our new books. So thank you guys uh, so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below. Also, if you're reading some really awesome science book and you want to let us know, I would love to hear what you guys are reading as well because I love interacting with you guys here in the comments. So please comment down below. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel and join um, Mama Shmoo's Homeschool Reviews. I would love to have you guys. And thanks again for watching. I will see you guys in my next video and stay tuned for the geography and the history curriculum flip throughs that are gonna be coming up really soon along with our art and music.